so today is my 10 week bump date. I've been pregnant for 10 weeks. I can't believe it. This past week hasn't been a lot of changes, but it was really nice. Corbin and I, we got to go on a baby moon, which is actually where I filmed my last bump date. But we were there for a few days and that was so nice. I just got to have a break and I could relax and take baths. Not too hot, obviously, but take baths and just get room service and swim in the pool and sleep in. It was really, really nice. But after that was over, getting back into the van was kind of like a rude awakening. <laughs> I think I had really settled into the hotel life for a little while. And um, the nausea really got to me. So the first day back in the van, we drove for a long, I think it was like seven hours. And it was not good. I was almost immediately nauseous and then nauseous for the whole drive and then ended up throwing up for the second time of this pregnancy. So that wasn't super fun. And um, the smells and stuff have been just as prevalent just like a strong sense I can smell all the smells that I don't want to smell and food is still an issue like food aversions and stuff but I'm trying to figure out ways to deal with it like Robin and I have been brainstorming how we can handle it and make van life more enjoyable because I really want to still enjoy it like this is amazing like right now here I am I'm at Acadia National Park in Maine which is just incredible and the fact that I get to be here while pregnant is amazing um, so I'm just trying to figure out and brainstorm ways to make being in a van and traveling in a van more uh, manageable. So some of the things that we're going to try this upcoming week are, well one we already did, which was emptying or taking all the food that was on top of the fridge. We've now put that all in the cupboard. So in our van there's an area on top of the fridge where we've been storing food this whole time. And when the, sto when the fridge is hooked up to propane, it kind of heats up and then I can smell like the breads and stuff or the whatever food is up there. So we've removed all of that food except for a few like potatoes, which I don't think will bother me, but we've moved everything else and it's in the cupboard. So that takes care of that smell. Something else we're gonna try is we're gonna get a essential oil diffuser from Target and that way there's just um, nicer, relaxing smells. Maybe we'll get lavender or something and maybe that'll cover up any other smells that are just really not exactly to my liking or to the baby's liking so we're gonna try that and then i think we're also just going to be driving less or shorter distances and staying places longer as much as possible just so that i don't have to deal with getting nauseous in the van and i can just relax more and that should be able to make it more manageable so at 10 weeks the baby is the size of a kumquat which i do not have and i'm not really even sure what that looks like is that maybe I don't know. I don't know, like this big? I'm not really sure. We'll see, I'll have to look it up. Maybe there'll be a picture here of a kumquat. But the size of a kumquat, so it is growing. Last week it was a grape and this week it's a kumquat and it'll just keep growing every week. It's super exciting. Um, I'm still not really showing, maybe a little bit, but I still think it's mostly like bloat. <laughs> like a bloated stomach. But I'm kind of excited. I'm really hoping I start to show a little bit more soon just because it'd be more fun to start showing and feeling more pregnant. But I will say that my pants have started to feel more uncomfortable. They definitely still fit. All my clothes still pretty much fit. Um, actually, that's not true. I'll get to that. But my pants are just feeling a little bit more uncomfortable. So I'm going to look and get maybe some yoga pants or just some more comfortable pants. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get like maternity pants right now, but just more comfy pants that I can wear, especially while traveling and on the road. Um, something that doesn't fit anymore is my bras. I won't, I can barely wear them. Um, I've basically been wearing or living out of sports bras for the last couple of weeks, which they fit, but they're still not 100% comfortable. Plus I don't really like to wear sports bras all the time. So I'm gonna go and get some new bras that fit and maybe just a couple comfier shirts that are just, I don't know, I kind of want cuter clothes for pregnancy. I just feel like I should have some cute pregnancy clothes. I just feel like pregnant women can wear cute flowery clothes and I'm like, oh look, I'm pregnant, it's so cute. I'm gonna show you my belly now and thanks for watching. That is my 
my 10 week belly shot and my 10 week bump date. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave comments below about how you're doing if you're pregnant or just any sorts of encouraging words. I always appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe because I'm putting out these bump dates once a week, every week throughout the pregnancy. And Corbin and I do five videos Monday through Friday as we are traveling around North America. So be sure to subscribe and remember, be where your feet are. Bye.